Hello there, yes, I'm Joanne, nice to meet ya, uh-huh, uh-huh, well you're looking mighty pale, aren't ya? <laughs> What's wrong, sweetie? Oh, well, yes, I mean, besides the fact that you're getting sacrificed, is there anything else that's bothering you? No, well, you're just not too happy with the circumstances. Mm, I understand, I understand, but... You know, it's what you gotta do. You got you got picked. It's very exciting. Yes, might, might as well just you know enjoy the moments that you're alive. It's very <laughs> very exciting. So, I am here to do your makeup. Um, yes, I'm going to be giving you a nice makeover. Um, I'm very excited to begin on your lovely face. Kind of lovely. It's it's a face, so I'm excited to begin on it. Um, oh, and they did tell me to bring you some sardines, but, uh, well, I kind of ate the sardines, so, um, let me think. I mean, I have some, some chunky salsa. Would you like any chunky salsa at all? You know, that pique your interest at all? It's just, I don't know. I don't really, I've always had it back here, like, I've just had it, I guess, for sandwiches. I don't know, what do you use chunky salsa for? What do you use it for? Like, I guess sandwiches. You see, it just shows I never use it, honestly. Uh, but I have some chunky salsa, if that would pique your interest. Not really, oh, oh that's, that's fine, I mean, I don't know do with this but it's instead of sardines so I thought maybe you'd want some chunky salsa not really okay that's fine just, just, yeah. just, yeah. let me think you gotta eat something because you don't want to be sacrificed on an empty stomach like that's just not it's not enjoyable I promise I've seen plenty of people go in there empty stomachs they start hurling but they hurl up like stomach acid it's it's not an enjoyable experience, I promise. Let's see. You want to be able to hurl up some, some decent food. Here you go. I happen to have some Cheez-Its in my fanny pack. <laughs> what are the odds? I think... It might be a little old, like a, a little bit. Um, I'm not really sure when I got them, but it's food. And no matter what, even if it was like gonna kill you, it's okay because you're gonna die. So at least maybe you'll die before the sacrifice, during the sacrifice. Hopefully not before because that'd be mighty unfortunate, honestly. Okay. I have a few uh, Cheez-Its in here. A few. Not too many. But that's good because you don't want to eat too much. If you eat too much, then you're going to hurl up like a lot. And then it just, oh, then it's worse. Like there's people that eat too much, people that don't eat at all. Like it's good to eat a little bit, you know. So, would you like them now? Okay, I, I understand. It's going to be hard to eat, but I'll set them right here for you. So I, I do hope you eat them. They're right there, right, right next to you. You can't miss them. You see them? You see them right there? Hold up. Yeah. Okay. Good. Just, just looking out for you. I'm just, just looking out for you, okay? But anyway, let me get to the actual business of what we got to be doing, all right? Uh, yes, I'm just... <sighs> I'm highly excited. I love my job because I get to bring out my tools of makeup. So, I guess I could begin by showing you my makeup bag. That would be a good way to start this uh, whole process. So this is my makeup bag. It's nothing special, but I have some of my favorite, some of my favorite favorite products in here so I'm excited to show you them just like to feel it I love to feel 
hear what's inside of it all. It gets me excited. Because there's so much uh, interesting things that I'm going to show you today. So, first, I will show you the products and then we'll begin using them. Alright. So, first, we got. Our eyelash curler, but it's also an eyelash plucker if you need it to be. Um, honestly, I mean, I don't know people that have too many eyelashes, but it happens. Sometimes I come across people that have just too many eyelashes, and I'm like, honey, we're gonna pluck these. So I pluck them for them, you know, I'm good like that. Very nice. Um, but I use, I grab an eyelash and just kind of, and then it curls, usually. On a good day. We'll see what happens with you. But this is my eyelash curler. It's V for Victorious <laughs> on Nickelodeon. Used to be. The good old days. Alright, so I'll set that on the side over here. Over and next we have a good old lipstick. This is for if you want the color red. If you're looking for the shade of red, see today I'm wearing a sport in black. Um, so since I have black on, I would not be using this. I wouldn't have used this on myself, but depending how you seem at the end of this, we might use this on you. Uh, Basically, put your lips in between, and it comes out very, very red. So it works well. Give me a second. Very snippy. Snip, 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 snippy. Um, you know, it's just a cool little tool I got. I got going on there. All right, put that on the side here. Next, we have this is a multi tool. Honestly, it can do a lot of things. It can help shave eyebrows, it can help pick noses. This is kind of my multi tool. Um, a lot of times, I will use it for eyeliner as well. Um, you get a very good point when you use this, you get a very good, solid point right here. Okay. So, you know, do some, I'm not wearing my wings today, um, usually like to, you can get some good points happen when you use this lovely, lovely tool, um, it's pretty, it's pretty good like that, so I love that tool, I love it, um, but that's like a multi-tool, so, you know, if you want to use it for shaving eyebrows, etching things on your face, what, you know, what have you, it's a good tool for just about anything. So that's good. So that's good to know. Keep in mind. This also, I'll show you my multi tools, is a multi tool facet. Uh, this I also enjoy using for eyeliner wings. Um, it's it's just a good base and it, it scrapes very very well so you can get a good scrape if you would like a wing so it's very good for that it also again like the other one is good for nose picking unfortunately though this one especially you cannot go too deep I mean you can if you want to bleed out um, yes I have it takes a lot of practice sometimes. Um, you gotta go in just enough so you can get the nose hair, so you can get the boogers, or whatever you're trying to get. Um, but that way you don't bleed out because I've gone in too far many a time. Not on myself, of course, because I'm doing fine, but on some people, and it's, uh, they, it was not a happy ending, honestly. So, but this part I like to use for etching, etching the eyeliner right there. 
it's very good. Um, it's just another good tool for that. Um, and then you can also, it's good for nose hairs. It has a lot of uses. I love tools that have multiple uses. It really, it's, it helps. It saves you money, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, we just have one more. Yep, one more main product. This is a blush, a blush also can help with eyebrows, of course, and nose hairs if you'd like. Um, but I like to use it for blush, and you just kind of pinch your cheeks with it. Pinch, 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 the cheeks. And uh, then you get red cheeks, and you got like the world's best blush, honey. It's real good. It's a, um... It's a very good product. I think I spent good money on it. Um, it was very worth the money. So now we're going to put them back in side of this lovely makeup bag. Alright. Kind of make them all fit inside. Make sure that they have all the products. Alright. So now. We're going to begin the lovely, the wonderful, amazing makeup process on you. <laughs> Are you excited? You're still looking very pale, honey. Are you okay? Oh, well, you'll get over it. You'll, you'll, you'll get over it. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. You're in good hands. You're in very, very good hands. Don't even worry. Here, I'm going to put on some gloves and tell me handle the products. Um, also, if you bleed, well, it won't get on my hands. So that's good. Because I don't need all your, all your germs and I don't know, whatever's going on inside you. I don't need that on me. You know what I'm saying, honey? I don't need that on me. So we're going to. Make sure this gets on the gloves. I happen to like the sounds they make. It's very, I think it's very, uh, kind of relaxing, honestly. Alright. Well, we're going to just dive right in here. We're just going to begin and we're going to make your face just transform into something just becoming so vast and extraordinary and abstract. And people are going to look at you and be like, oh, goodness, but like in a good way. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be good. So we're going to start off. We're going to use this one first to do trimming of the eyebrows. We're just going to, yeah, this is, it's kind of old school, but honestly, I find it to work the best. We're just going to trim up those caterpillars up here. between, man. Now we can just lop them both off. Okay. Uh, they're just about off. That's good. Yeah, you don't need eyebrows. We'll draw them on later. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside. Okay. Now, we're gonna do some eyelash curling. Um, your eyelashes are already naturally pretty curly, but we can make it even better. <laughs> 
And if it hurts, that means it's working. This one out. Oh, okay. And then we're gonna come over here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is a tough one. Okay, we're gonna get this one out. Okay, cool. A little bit at the bottoms. Oops, pulling a lot out. Oh well. Okay. And, uh, well, you kind of lost a lot of eyelashes, but it's it's all right. You look uh, stylish. Yeah. Very stylish. Okay, it's not that long. Okay. Next item of business. Okay. So we can use this. We're going to use this to sculpt your eyebrows and we're going to make some wings on you using our eyeliner and sculpting. What do you think? I'm going to carve it right in your face, honey. Here we go. <laughs> Hold still. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. We're gonna do doing the eyebrows. Gonna make it nice. So harsh. Um Okay, stop squealing. Oh my gosh. Stop. We're gonna have to have to do it thicker though. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, okay. It's a pretty solid first one, but we have to try to make the second one like it, so oh, here we go. This is the hard part. Okay. Ooh, you already got some blood on you. Oh, and it's bleeding. Oh, it's bleeding bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's my favorite part. Okay, so let's finish this. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. They look look pretty even. Way to go. Alright. Now we're going to etch some winged eyeliner on you, so do not move. We got to make these wings uh, be holding, becoming, just everything. We need your wings to come out just on fleek, okay? If you understand me, they got to come out good, so here we go. Let's try. You're squirming. Oh my gosh. It's just a little blood and it's just on the eyeball. It's not even bad. It could be worse. Trust me. Honeybee. Okay, we did that eye. But now, like the eyebrows, it's going to be hard to replicate it. So, here we go. Let's try it. This 
wait up. Okay. Well, um, I can't fix them. Uh, they're even enough. They look, they're, I would say they're even enough. And there's a lot of blood on you. Just calm down, honey. Just breathe. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, like you're gonna die soon, so you just think about that happy thought, okay? Happy thought. We're gonna move on now, all right? You're looking a little bit better, a little bit. Okay, this one, we're just gonna pick your nose a little bit because I did see some boogies earlier. <laughs> okay, so we gotta get these little boogies out, okay, honey? So let's get up there, not so deep, just deep enough. Should be good. Let's remember to wash these. <sighs> I have to get better at that. I'm I'm clean. I'm hygienic, but only on certain days. Okay, let's see what else we got here. I think we're almost near the end. You survived very well. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're on our last product, and we're going to use this for some blush, and then I was going to use the red lipstick on you, but I'll look through my other lipstick bag, and we're going to give you some mighty fine lips, honey bun, we're going to give you some good ones, so we're going to use this for some blush now, okay? Ooh, almost got your ear. I gotta be careful. Okay, and then we're gonna get on over here. Okay, well, not bad, sweetie, not bad at all. Um, a little blush. This with the other ones. Okay, let's look at this now. Well, you still bleeding quite profusely, but it's all right. It's gonna be fine. It'll dry soon, eventually. And if it doesn't, well, again, you're gonna die soon, so it's gonna be fine. You'll be okay. But, so I finished this process. Would you like red lips or would you like to have like black or some kind of bold color? You have to talk to me. You have to, like, respond when I'm talking to you, okay? Yeah. <sighs> Crying is not an answer. That, that was not, that's not at all what I was looking for. Let me see what I have, okay? I have a lot of ransom items in here, but I do have some lips. Of 
maroon, purpley red. Uh, just not feeling it. The blood is going to drip inside of it and it's not going to be good. What about... Ooh, black cherry. You know, I think I have the perfect color for you. I'm gonna do a green because it's gonna stand out. People are gonna see it. They're gonna remember you if you're wearing green lips. Okay. You want to make a bold statement. Okay, so let's do that. Let's give you some bold, bold lips here. Your tears are getting in it, honey. You want your tears in it. Okay. Okay. And we're just going to make it a little bit bigger than your lips actually are because... That's cool. It's in style. It is. Again, we're making you really bold so people remember you. Okay. I'm just gonna go a little bit bigger than your lips are actually. And up 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 and are going to remember that. Well, it seems my work here is done. Thank you for kind of, you know, participating and giving me good feedback. Kind of. But I just want to say that I hope you have a wonderful sacrifice. Um, I will hopefully be there to see it. Um, We'll see. I know my assistant uh, was doing, gave you some good notes and things to stick on you, so uh, hopefully I will be able to see what you left for your loved ones. Um, I always love seeing what the dead leave. <laughs> um, but yes, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening, and don't forget to eat those Cheez-Its. Do you hear me? You have to eat those Cheez-Its, okay? Okay. Well, good. See you later, sugar.